Overwhelming debt and the end of government pandemic supports have contributed to an increase in bankruptcies across the country. They're up 37 percent among Canadian businesses, with tourism, food services and the construction sector's hardest hit. Individual bankruptcy filings are also growing, up 11 percent. That financial burden is weighing on many Canadians, especially for those on fixed incomes. And as CTV's BC Bureau Chief Melanie Nagy reports, a new portrait is shedding light on the impact of inflation on retirement expectations. Costs keep climbing across Canada, forcing people to take drastic steps. Near one of Vancouver's beaches, dozens are living in RVs in order to scrimp and save. I'm like, oh, wh why not me? Lucas Phillips, a student and Uber driver, ditched his pricey downtown apartment to live in a low-cost motorhome. This feels like okay. Yeah. I sit here for a while. High inflation and the rising cost of living are making life difficult for Canadians and many are no longer confident they'll have enough money to retire. At my age, you know, is there a possibility to, to make sure that I can, I can retire the way I want to? I think at some point our lifestyle has to change in relation to what we spend money on. According to a new BMO retirement survey, only 44% of Canadians are confident they'll have enough money to retire. They, uh, you know, have less confidence around uh, saving and investing towards their retirement goals and certainly feeling that they're going to need more. The study also found people believe they need to save 1.7 million, which is a 20% increase from 2020. For someone that ha sees a simpler lifestyle, they're going to downsize their home, they may move out of the big city, they're going to need less than that number. It seems like quite a bit. For new mom Chelsea Renault, saving nearly $2 million for retirement isn't realistic, but she's hopeful inflation will ease this year, allowing her to pocket more money. But hopefully, hopefully wages and everything else will go up and we'll be able to kind of keep on track. We have taken forceful action. Today, signs of optimism from the Bank of Canada governor after a series of interest rate hikes. Our message is it's working. Uh, inflation is turning the corner. And as it comes down, the expectation is the cost of living for Canadians will improve. Melanie Nagy, CTV News, Vancouver.